reducing the number of variables in a cell's data set. Most of the times, a situation may arise that your original data set have tons of variables, but for your required task, just few variables might be enough. So, in that case, you want to make your data set thinner, that is, a manageable size data set. Just for the introduction, I will give you an overview of use of keep statement in that of data step. Though, drop statement also works well, but we will explore that in detail in later lectures. When we discuss the difference between drop and keep statements, drop and keep options. For the time being, take a look at this program. As you can notice that here, firstly we are creating a temporary dataset xcreek from permanent dataset play.xcreek and then we are using keep statement for keeping the variables name and city only and then we are using proc print step and correspondingly you can see that in output we are only getting the variables that we have listed in keep statement. Now in this slide you can take a look at how the variables are reduced to only two variables by use of keep statement by comparing it with the original data set in the first case. Though I am using slides for lecture purpose because I find it suitable for demonstrating multiple examples at one place so that you can learn things by comparison. But it does not mean you should hear and forget what I have taught. For that particular reason, I have attached all of the demonstration exercises as well so that you can write these programs on your own. In case you find any error or mistakes, then you should take help of attached demonstration exercises. No doubt, you will make very basic mistakes like that of spelling mistakes, forgetting semicolon, parentheses, closing quotation marks, or some kind of logical errors, etc. But don't worry, if you do so, you will learn handling your own mistakes, which usually takes around 7 to 8 months for a SAS programmer to learn. That's it. See you in next lecture. Thanks.